Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And today, I'm going to share with you a couple of upcoming video series and let you know what's in the wings and what you can expect in the next uh, couple months. So let's take a look at what's going on. Well, one of the uh, video series will feature this 1973 Volkswagen fan. Well, starting in the front here, you can see they're kind of a blunt nose front end on them. This has aftermarket bumpers. This is uh, was the project of a high school student, I believe, and uh, his father brought it to us. He's uh, away in college, but um, asked us to finish the conversion part, and they'll finish the uh, restoration of the vehicle itself. So the seats aren't in place right now. You can see some wiring hanging down, so forth. So we'll clean up that kind of stuff, get it ready for converting. The windshield drops down on these. The, uh, it's like an old Jeep. Um, they had a hard top or a soft top. They have a soft top with this one, but they think they want to get a hard top for it also. There's a couple little areas here in the back. You can see there's a step. The back seat rest, uh, you know, the back comes at an angle. So you can see how that will interfere with, um, you know, a battery box. There is a little bit of room underneath the uh, back seat area. But because of the way things angle and everything, there really isn't a lot of space. But join us for the video series and you'll see where we stash the battery cells in this. This will be 146 volt set up. That's 44 of the lithium iron phosphate cells and this one will have uh, 100 amp per hour cells for a 14.6 kilowatt hour pack. Here's the view under the bonnet. They cut the gas tank in half and put it back in so this is the lower half of the original gas tank. There's a, a gas fired heater. Here's space in front. Okay, here's the rear of the vehicle. Now this was uh, uh, a conversion that was started by someone else and not completed, but we'll show you what components are in place and what, what components will be replaced. Okay, we can see a very small Series 1 DC motor in place with the old Curtis 1231C. That's good up to 156 volts. So it will work with what we're doing. So the motor will be replaced. Currently doesn't have a clutch. It'll be replaced with a clutch and flywheel with our one piece um, billet aluminum adapter, the net gain impulse 9 motor will retain their controller, but of course all of this will be um, <laughs> re redone, reorganized, we'll keep uh, the shunt, we'll keep the throttle, 
but this is currently mounted on a piece of wood and it's on rubber standoffs so it's not attached to anything. Um, those of you who have watched some of our earlier vi videos you know that the Curtis controller needs to be heat synced and Curtis recommends a minimum of a 12 by 12 by quarter inch thick piece of aluminum and so we'll use uh, the same thing we've done many times before we'll put in a um, component board heat sink combination that's 12 by 24 by quarter inch thick and re, re you know reorganize things in here clean it up and make this a real nice clean and simple conversion so let me show you what else we're working on also well here's another project we're working on this is a um, stainless steel Jeep body. This was made in the Philippines. So it's a replica of an you know, early Jeep. And right now it's just in pieces. So it's going to have a little different setup in that it's going to use a single speed gearbox. And we'll, of course, show you all this in great detail later on. You get a little shot of it here. And we'll tell you about that particular gearbox. This is going to feature the high performance electric vehicle systems, AC50 motor, with this single speed gearbox available from high performance electric vehicle systems, and the Curtis 1238 controller. Currently, uh, the owner has 32 of the Calb 180 cells. And we will potentially add to that and bring it up to either 36 or 38 cells, which is what we normally use with that motor controller combination but it's going to depend on space availability so here's uh, the chassis it's missing the rear axles and and uh, hubs and and wheels but uh, you can see uh, some motor mounts in place there the front suspension is your standard stock um, double torsion tube uh, VW front end. So we'll um, we'll bring you along for the ride as we first complete the uh, chassis. Then we have to mount the body on the chassis. Figure out where all our components are going to go. All that kind of thing. So you can see, it's, it's pretty raw right now. No steering column in place, no brakes, you know, no master cylinder, no a lot of things. So this is going to be pretty much uh, 
you know, from the ground up. So, you know, for those of you who are interested in this type of uh, project, uh, join us as we, uh, you know, build and convert this stainless steel Jeep. So, until next time when we start these projects, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions, and thank you for watching. Hope you join us.